plague our society nowadays, we have things like pollution, global warming, natural disasters, the impeding threat of nuclear war. But perhaps none is as serious or strikes fear into the heart of the average citizen quite like the phrase, license and registration, please. <laughs> And we accept traffic tickets to be a necessary evil, but even with them, nearly 1.3 million people die each year from traffic accidents globally, placing it as the 10th leading cause of death according to the World Health Organization. This number is rising. Now, in a civilized society where, we, uh, where politics can take place from the luxury of one's own Twitter, and we can take pictures of our food instead of eating it, this is just embarrassing. What's more, law enforcement officers are a precious resource that have better things to do than to spend their time giving out traffic tickets. So. <laughs> and you might think I'm here to propose artificial intelligence and robots to hand out speeding tickets for us, but as shown in the famous 1991 Connor et al. study, <laughs> Artificial intelligent robot officers don't work so well. I said, I'm not going to propose that we go with simple technology, using fundamental physics to embed our driving laws into the structure of the roadways themselves. Uh, without further ado, I would like to introduce you to extranking, or extreme banking. <laughs> uh, this is a long-term solution to mitigate traffic safety hazards while requiring little to no operational efforts. Imagine a driver approaching a turn in the road. Under the extranking guidelines, this turn would be banked at perhaps a 60 degree angle with a road tire coefficient of friction mu. If the driver is going too slow, uh, they will slide down the bank and be deposited to the soft ground below where they can spend their time being ashamed but no longer obstructive. <laughs> if the driver is going too fast, they will be disposed of <laughs> from the top of the road. Uh, side note, um, conceptualization and ethical attainment of this disposal technique is left as an exercise to the interested listener. <laughs> now, incidentally, one benefit here is that we'll save on the cost of signage by not having to post speed limits. Instead, um, <laughs> drivers can simply visualize free body diagrams, balance their forces, <laughs> you know the drill. A little bit of algebra, and then they can just proceed at the correct velocity. It's easy. <laughs> now, those of you who know me know that I have a strong interest in computational physics, so I coded up a few brief simulations to better illustrate these concepts. Uh, this first one is leaving off of the road due to underspeeding. <laughs> this one is from overspeeding. Please know that neither of these options is ideal. And since extranking is based off of very simple physics, it's easy to tune the punishments to fit the crime. I propose a system using a series of concentric partial rings where the inner circle has grass to stop and not hurt, but to get rid of the annoying underspeeders. For the slight overspeeders, I propose maybe sending them to an array of rocks. Moderate speeding, straight into the snake pit. <laughs> And for the real speed demons out there, I propose that they would encounter a serious, unfortunate combustion event. Uh, this is also known as sucking. <laughs> Furthermore, we can tune the road to the exact level of authoritarianism that we desire. By adjusting the coefficient of friction, mu, uh, we can make it so that the, the drivers have a bit of leeway before they're thrown into a pit of snakes. Or we can make it so that the slightest deviation from ideal speed would like, launch them straight into a ring of fire. With an exponential decrease in mu over time, this would correspond to a roughly logarithmic increase in driver's skill. <laughs> so over time, this would open a channel for natural Darwinian selection to make our drivers more skilled. Uh, this is all calculated with the Monte Carlo simulation. It was really great. Um, I'm sure you know them. Uh, it is just embarrassing that we do not have a unified system of ethics. But physics on the other hand, has been working for years to combine pieces to create some grand unified theory. So while our ethics are suffering, it's pretty clear that physics knows what it's doing. And so the true beauty of extranking is that since its ethical framework is based off of friction, which is an electromagnetic interaction, we have now unified ethics with the electroweak force, thus creating... <laughs> thus creating a new interaction we are calling the electromagnetical potential. <laughs> we 
we are expecting some very interesting Feynman diagrams. <laughs> and so one of the other benefits of, of extrinking is that we can then physically measure uh, observables of the electromagnetical potential. Um, you see, many cars will be launched from the road into nearby fields, so then we will have a large reproducible system we can use to study car quantum field theory, <laughs> since they're in fields, you see, <laughs> as well as car formal field theory, two very important areas of research that we need more observables to notice. Now, extrinking obviously has some great qualities, sustaining clear rows, I, but I will be the first to admit it does have some ethical dilemmas. I'm not doubting that. Namely, where are we gonna get the funding from? <laughs> Replacing every single turn in the road with a significantly sloped counterpart will cost a lot of money. I understand that. But extrinking will not only increase jobs by people have to you know, feed the snakes and create the banks and stuff like that, <laughs> but also over time it will remove drivers from the system, thus decreasing the population, which is a problem that we've been facing lately. And also, as these annoying speeders are removed from the system, then we are decreasing societal burdens. With fewer drivers out there, that's fewer people that society has to provide for, so it's actually cheaper. <laughs> and extranking is going to clear the roads, so your 30-minute commute to work might be cut in half. If you speed, you might not even get there. <laughs> And not going to work makes some people really happy. <laughs> so remember, extranking. It's a... <laughs> oh. Oh. It's a road to a better future. It's a... It's a... <laughs>